Hello everybody, so I am all packed up and ready to go. It is happening, I am going back on the road here. I thought I would do a little bit more, you know, recording this time. You know, not too much as a terminal, but you know, me going down there, you know, seeing the hotel and stuff like that. So, I thought I'd go over with you guys, you know, what I do when it comes on the road, you guys. You know, if you guys want to do this, you know, taking a whole bunch of stuff with you can be a very taunting task. It is for me, um, but I have figured out what works for me the most. Um, it may not work for you, but, you know, this is something that, you know, I have, you know, went with for a while. I've done many different things, you know, from carrying a whole bunch of stuff with me um, to, you know, just taking down to the minimal um, as soon as I get home. Then I'll start piling in more stuff. This is just the absolute must need stuff that I need um, that will help me last for a week. So let's just go over what I have in my, you know, bags and stuff like that. And so you guys get an idea if you guys wanna do this, you know, especially if, you know, there's just so much stuff you want to take um, and try to carry your light and you know of course you know most efficient and comfortable as possible so in this bag here I have my electronics so CB radio GPS you know cords you know stuff like that I also have a couple pillows um, this bag I don't quite remember what it is um, I think yeah, I don't quite remember what this bag is. You can get out of Walmart. I did. Uh, you can get a good size bag like this at Walmart. It actually rolls on the ground as well. Um, very good bag. Pretty big bag. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. Um, including we have extra pockets on the side as well as... Um, well, I don't think it's on this. Okay, it's on that. Um, both of these are the si by the same company. Uh, pretty good bags. I haven't had any issues with them. Um, other than this um, suitcase, I've had one just like it um, a while back. Uh, I do not recommend going cheap on these. I would recommend trying to get a good price because I've had these break on me before. You know, I've had the handles, you know, just fall out on you. It, it is a mess. So you want to make sure you get some good quality, you know, bags. You know, I wouldn't say too expensive, but they're not too cheap as well. Um, you know, you want to make sure they last and they're good quality. Um, so, like I said, in here, I have electronics. Don't have very much, you know, just GPS, um, cords, you know, plug-ins. Um, and also have two pillows in here, which is of course, you know, standard. The biggest thing that I have would be bedding. Um, you know, if I didn't need to carry bedding, uh, this wouldn't be an issue, but of course I have to. So this is the most daunting thing to have. Um, in this bag here, I have all my clothes, you know, and other, you know, little knick-knack things I can slide in pockets, like for instance, over here, um, this is trash bags, and I also have a spare phone cord in here. Um, there's a hole in this, which is not good, um, but it's gonna last anyways. Um, I didn't even realize there's a hole. That is um, not technically for my phone, but it will work. Um, I also have, um, of course, you know, the tow bolt. Um, car um, thing um, of course very much needed for on the road we that's pretty much the only thing we have um, you know is using those total car ports um, so moving on of course I have my coat drinks underneath it which I'm probably going to bring a couple along with me um, if you're going to Ohio for USA truck um, it depends on what company you're going with of course but with the USA truck down there in Tip City, Ohio, there's not very much around um, where there is, but, you know, it's quite a bit of walk, like, I believe there is a, you know, Myers, I believe, maybe about four or five miles away, which is a very long walk, um, 
you know, there's a gas station right across the street, but it's not open um, for very long. It's not the greatest gas station in the world ever. Um, it looks pretty bad, so I don't like going in there. So I'm probably going to bring a couple of those. Um, there is a couple of pizza places that will serve down there. So what I've done the last two times that I went down there, I just ordered a pizza. Um, if you really wanted to, you can order a two liter with that and you have plenty to drink and stuff like that. But it's really up to you in your case of what you want to do. I'm probably going to bring me a cup of drinks just so I can, you know, try to avoid doing that. Uh, I believe they have vending machines down there. That unfortunately, does not accept, you know, debit card, which I rarely keep cash on me. So um, that doesn't happen very much. Um, so it's pretty much almost impossible. Anyway, so in this bag, I have my hygiene product. So toothbrush, toothpaste. Um, this is my shower bag. Both of these go in here with me in the shower. That's another thing that very, very beneficial. Um, you have both of these, you know, for the shower and stuff like that. It's very easy to carry in. Um, you know, very efficient. Um, down here is more bedding. Nothing but bedding. It is blankets, um, which take a lot of room. Um, and I believe I have, um, a um, foam pad um, that you can use, um, you know, for bedding and stuff like that. So of course I can have a more comfortable sleep. Um, it's brand new too. I just bought it. Um, so hopefully it works. I've gotten one before in the past. It is way too big. Um, you know, so hopefully this works a lot better. I believe the mattresses down there are twin. That's what I got. So hopefully it is the right one. Um, also, we'll use this to put in, you know, minimal stuff. So, you know, small items that I can put in there um, that I really need. So this is just, you know, basics for what you really need to travel. And you can get your truck, do you can come home. Um, and even then, I know there is kind of a risk um, for doing this. Uh, if you carry too much, um, if you're going to work for the same company, great, you know, you can have as much stuff in the truck as possible and you're probably not going to have an issue. Um, you know, as long as, you know, you always have a truck available, you're not going to have an issue. But as soon as, you know, you want to move from a different company, you want to, you know, move trucks, you have to go get a truck in a different location, which both of these are for what I fear. I don't think I'm going to leave USA truck. I have not had any issues with them. They're very, they were very quick I get me to come back. I already have the rental car, by the way. I am heading out tomorrow. This is currently Saturday. Uh, let me give you guys the exact date here. So it is Saturday, May the 7th. Um, we'll be leaving tomorrow, uh, which would be the 8th. And I'll have to redo orientation on Monday, which is not a bit big of a deal. Kind of is, um, you know, especially if you've done it so many times like me, it gets a daunting task after a while. But it's just something that, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to go through. I'm going to have to go through with any place else. Um, you know, just something that, you know, has to go through. I know some of you are probably wondering what I have been doing in the meantime. Um, you know, of course, I've been out of trucking since like January, um, since I had my surgery. I know some of you are wondering what happened with that and stuff like that. So, what happened with that is I, um, you know, after my surgery, this has been a very interesting journey for me you know i've been having to teach myself how to do a lot of things again you know from you know just simply going to the bathroom to you know learn how to eat again and i wanted to make sure that i was good to go now things are perfect right now i still receive a little bit of issues um here and there but it's not a big of a deal at all um you know it is something that you know, is very, you know, workable at this point. Um, and I just wanted to make sure that I was good to go. 
um, that I wasn't going to have any issues. Um, so that's exactly what has been going on. Um, you know, in the meantime, I was working a solo job out of school, which was, you know, pretty easy job. I was able to do that for quite a while. You know, put food on the table. You had to do something to put food on the table, and that was what I was doing in the meantime until I was getting ready to come back, which, you know, I quit that job last week. Um, you know, and I've been working really hard on trying to get back into trucking here. Um, USA Truck has been working really hard as well. Um, we had a couple issues here and there, you know, one of the issues was on their side of things, they were showing that I was not officially terminated, but I was. Uh, I mean, I was terminated because, you know, I haven't worked there long enough to receive medical leave or anything like that. Um, you know, which is understandable, but they had to clear all that up to where, you know, I could return back and stuff like that. Um, so, my hats off to them. Thank you so much for... You know, working hard on getting me back. Um, I'm very happy to go back. Um, I know some of you are wondering, you know, what's all this? Um, so, I know the biggest question is, why is the TV on the ground? Well, I am, you know, this is a very new move to me. I've just moved into this apartment. And this TV is, you know, on the ground at the moment until I can find a decent TV stand. That's not too expensive, but it's, you know, big enough to support it. Um, you know, at the local Walmart here, I don't have too many options. And all the furniture stores we have, like, I believe one or two, but they're not the greatest. And, you know they're way overpriced than Walmart is and stuff like that so I'm just waiting to you know until things are good when it comes to that you know I can find a good TV stand hopefully I get that one day but over here is the setup um, this is you know where I do all my gaming content um, so let's go over things a little bit so this is a laptop that you guys have seen me hit you know here and complain about and um oceanside roleplay um when i use the cat or nbt on the laptop due to my steam overlay not working for whatever reason i've never been able to figure that out um that is going with me that's how i do my editing and stuff like that over um you know the road and stuff like that i also use this thing which is from nomad internet it is a um Wi-Fi hotspot. It's not the greatest and it's probably a little bit overpriced. It's $149 um, that I spent on that, but I haven't really found any, you know, internet company, uh, mobile hotspot company that is truly unlimited, which no bad is. They don't have any throttles or anything. It's truly unlimited and that's why it probably costs so much because it is unlimited in data. I don't have to ever worry about that. I went with other companies, you know, for example, Verizon, I attempted that, you know, and that wasn't very well. I was using too much data, um, you know, just by editing, posting videos. So this is what, what you know, I really use and, you know, it works. Um, not, you know, totally the fastest internet, but it does the job. Um, so, uh, that's what I use to edit videos. Um, I have two screens here that I use for gaming. Um, I know this is just a regular old TV. Um, you know, still working on trying to get another monitor. Um, you know, of course, I don't have a big enough desk. This desk is falling apart. This is just, you know, something that, you know, I just got in the meantime. Um, you know, I may get a bigger desk in the future, but... You know, this actually kind of works with the size of this apartment that I can just, you know, put the TV stand over here. Um, you know, it kind of fits in. So, um, this is, you know, just an old TV, of course. It's a um, phone eye TV, which I don't even know that company even exists. I haven't seen TVs from them in a while. Um, I also have a 
on a monitor, it is a 1080p um, 60 hertz monitor. Um, pretty basic. Um, it's probably going to get replaced here soon, anyways. Um, I also have two speakers, which is the same. It is a um, on um, speakers here. Um, works very well. Um, something that I really like about these speakers is on the side of these there is a couple of headphones and I believe a aux cord um, which is very very helpful because I can you know hook up some headphones to it and I can actually hear my game audio without it echoing and stuff like that. Um, the keyboard it is a Mellotron keyboard I believe I'm saying that right it is M-E-E-T-I-O-N um, is the keyboard that came with um, my computer here I have several keyboards laying around um, this did not come with a keyboard it came with an older keyboard um, that no longer um, you know I have it just broke on me and this you know really really helps with wrist strain you know it keeps you know my hands comfortable especially playing WASD games and stuff like that it's really really helpful to uh, keep everything at a comfortable pace here um next thing i have this would be a on mouse as well um you guys probably know it's in the trend here um walmart stuff which is not the greatest at all but they're cheap and they work um so next thing i have would be a printer um this is a HP DeskJet 2722 um, and this is currently not working I don't know why I cannot get this thing to print um, you know it has plenty of paper but every time I try to get it to print it just doesn't want to print um, I've noticed it is a little bit low on ink so that could be another issue that's why it's not printing um, don't really know. This is a alarm clock that I've been meaning to set up, but I don't have any plugins available, so I have to wait for that. Um, this is a scanner. This is a BCD325P2 um, by Uniden. Um, this is how I um, listen in to the local police um, department. You know, this for Indiana. Um, they have a um, P25 um, system, um, which is, couldn't remember the exact name of this. It's very, very complicated system, but you have to have a special gainer. You yeah, listen to those because it's a um, different frequency that, you know, most scanners cannot listen to, but this can. Um, this is designed for that. Um, Next thing that I have would be, this is a Yeti microphone, this was about 70 bucks. Um, this was replaced with the BM800 that I have originally. This is just a USB microphone, but it works very good. Um, works way better than the old microphone that I had. Um, and this film I've had forever. Um, I don't even remember what it is or where it's from, it's actually it's fallen apart. Um, but it still works, so... Um, Next thing I have would be the computer. Um, I have, um, you know, don't mind all the wiring. I'm still trying to manage all that stuff. Um, but the computer, um, it is a Risen 5 3600 uh, processor. It has a, um, I believe it is a RX um, 580, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Um, and the RX 580, I believe, is Asrox um, Phantom Gaming RX 580, which you know does the trick. Um, it, you know, it's not perfect. I do plan on upgrading. One thing that I really like about the AMD system is, you know, it is, you know, upgraded. You know, you can upgrade to, you know, the latest processors, graphics cards. And, you know, you basically have no limit. Of course, you know, I believe moving on with the, you know, new um, processors and stuff like that, you need a different, 
you know, motherboard or that and stuff like that. But for the Ryzen system, I can update to, you know, the latest Ryzen, you know, 7, stuff like that. And I won't have a problem with that. Even with the graphics card itself, I won't have a problem with that either. I can upgrade to the highest, which is very, very nice. So then that beats, you know, you know, Intel way better than anything is because Intel is very limited on, on upgrades. You have to buy a new motherboard or computer completely, which if you replace a motherboard or hard drive, I believe, then you have to reinstall Windows, which is a big pain in the ass. And, you know, it's not something that I can do. I could probably build my own computer. Um, this was built by, um, pre-built by Best Buy. Um, you know, I am knowledgeable enough to build my own computer, but, you know, I would not even know where to even begin with that. Um, you know, not as knowledgeable on parts. Um, you know, be on the computer, you know, once you get familiarized with all the parts and stuff like that, it's very simple to build. Um, you know, I've even, you know, done upgrades in the past. Um, I had an old computer that I, you know, upgraded the processor, you know, that was, you know, very easy and simple to do. Um, you know, you just take off the, um, cooler. Um, remove the processor. You gotta be really careful because there are pins. If you bent one of the pins, um, you're pretty much fucked. So you gotta make sure you take care. Um, be very careful. Um, put thermal paste on and you're good to go. Um, so that's the computer specs. I also have a Thrustmaster. Um, I think this is a TMX um, racing wheel and pedals. Um, I also have, of course, an Xbox 360 controller. This is a Rock Candy Xbox 360 controller. Believe it or not, a few years ago, I actually got this at Walmart. It is a very reliable controller. Um, it still works marvelously. Um, I have tried other, you know, controllers in the past, you know, from, you know, Xbox One controllers to PS5 controllers and they just don't work very well especially for GTA 5 um, which is of course the game that I play the most um, when it comes to GTA 5 it is not the best at all um, you know I've had the issue especially with LSB or FAR um, you know for PS4 controllers specifically um, you have to install almost a special um, third-party software for this to work. Um, it doesn't just work right out of the box like a 360 controller does. Um, the biggest issue that I have would be for LSP or you had to have the um, Steam um, to recognize the PS4 controller. You had to go into the you know game settings and stuff like that. Or what other game settings, but Steam setting itself, you had to go into um, their home screen. You had to go and make sure you click on PS4 controller, and Steam will recognize the controller, and it would work for you know LSPFR. But the only problem is not everything works. Uh, the biggest issue would be you know you couldn't look backwards. Um, so right on the um, joystick here um, you push down the, of course looks back and you couldn't do that um, so I ultimately went to back to the Xbox 360 controller never had any more issues so that is the setup here that is pretty much what's going on um, I thought I'd just show you guys around a little bit um, you know just let you guys know what's going on and I will see you guys in the morning. I have to get to bed. It is almost 11 o'clock. Um, you know, I don't have to leave super early, so it's not too big of a deal. But, you know, I definitely should be getting to bed here pretty soon. Um, but, you know, I think I'm going to be wrapping things up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.